Greetings everybody and welcome to Wager Talk TV. I'm Pavlos Laguretos with a free play in the League's Cup in the match between uh, Philadelphia Union and Mazatlan on Saturday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. We're running really hot in soccer right now, 12-3 run uh, over the last eight days, plus 23 units of profit. Uh, we have a nice promo for you guys. You can use uh, coupon code SOC7 to get seven days of all soccer for just, five, uh, for just $59. Um, we have a couple of plays in the um, in the French League One. We have some plays in the EPL, and we have a three percent best bet uh, in the League Cup on Saturday. So uh, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about our plays, or if you have any other questions, I'd be glad to answer those. Now onwards to our free play: uh, Philadelphia versus Mazatlan on Saturday, 7:30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Mazatlan, they came into these competitions as the ugly ducklings per se, uh, meaning that um, they're one of the least valuable teams in the Liga MX. They came here in a really bad form. They haven't had, they haven't won a match since uh, April. Uh, they started the new Apertura uh, in the Liga MX with um, three losses and a draw. And they even started the League's Cup with a loss to New England. However, they they managed to beat uh, the carcass of Nashville, I should say, because uh, Nashville there on a, what, seven match uh, losing streak, so take that result with a grain of salt. Then they managed to beat DC United by 2-1. to one. However, um, DC United, they had an early red card in that match and uh, Mazatlan scored a couple of goals in the first half, which is really uncharacteristic of them they don't usually score a lot or concede a lot for that matter in that first half uh, and they almost they were almost equalized by DC United who pushed them really really hard in that second half they managed to pull back um, um, you know the lead to one goal uh, but uh, Mazatlan won that one but the biggest upset was uh, in their last match against Cruz Azul uh, one of the teams where I personally expected them to make a deep run in this competition but Mazatlan they scored two late goals again in the first half um, but Cruz Azul, they also saw a red card in the 49th minute, but they still managed, while being one man down, um, to pull even with goals at the 84th and the 91st minute, uh, forcing the penalty kick uh, shootout where Mazatlan, they scored three, uh, and uh, Cruz Azul, they missed three of their four penalty kicks. So Mazatlan are here, uh, they're through to the quarterfinals, and they're now playing against the Philadelphia Union side, um, who are in really good form. But here's the thing about Mazatlan. Uh, they have a really, really good coach, really experienced coach. Um, his name is Vucetic. He's dubbed the King Midas of uh, the Mexican soccer. He used to coach uh, Monterrey for quite a few years. He's really successful. He really knows what he's doing in these competitions. And uh, now he's just really doing a really, really good job uh, with a team that's very, very limited in terms of uh, squad value. So... Um, I don't think this is an easy match for Philadelphia, to be honest. Uh, Philadelphia, they went through a very, very rough patch uh, from mid-April to July to mid-July. Uh, they won just one of their 17 matches in that span with one win, uh, six draws and 10 losses. Um, but they had all sorts of problems back then. They had players on international duty. They had players who were injured. They, they even transferred some players. But um, they flipped script um, lately. They changed their formation to a 4-3-2-1, uh, 4-3-1-2, I'm sorry, with a, a diamond in the midfield, which has been working wonders for them. They're now, uh, they won um, five of the last uh, six matches. The only one, the only match that they didn't win was a 1-1 draw against Cruz Azul, um, where they did lose in the penalty kicks, uh, but they still uh, moved on. Uh, in the last match, they beat Cincinnati by 4-2. Uh, with all six goals being scored in the second half. So uh, here's the thing about Philadelphia. They're in a really tough spot in the MLS. Right now they're sitting outside of the playoff spots uh, and they have a pretty brutal schedule to finish, to finish the season. They have nine matches left and seven of them are um, against teams who are uh, actually sitting in the top seven. They have two matches against Columbus. Uh, they have a match against the Red Bulls, a match against uh, New York City, a, ma a match against Eastern Conference leaders Inter Miami. So uh, there is no guarantee that they'll actually make the playoffs. Uh, they do have some chances, yeah, but I'm not really sure if they're going to prioritize doing well in the MLS uh, and leave the League's Cup alone. But now they're through to the quarterfinals. Uh, another win will push them to the semifinals. So maybe, just maybe, they will prioritize the League's Cup now that they're very, very close to winning it. So um, I think this is a tricky match. I didn't agree with the initial odds where uh, Philadelphia were plus 
Um, two ten favorites. Now the odds have moved significantly. They're now minus uh, one ninety favorites. I don't want to go anywhere near uh, a side bet here. Of course, Philadelphia. They've been playing really well, but Mazatlan again. They have a really good coach, really experienced, who knows how to play in situations like this. I'm gonna pivot to the first half under one point two five goals, which is a split line between first half under one goal and first half under one and a half goal. Now, uh, as I said before. Uh, Philadelphia's previous match against Cincinnati had zero goals in the first half and six in the second half. Uh, the match against Montreal, which they won by 2-0, two two they scored the, um, the first half goal in the stoppage time. So it was a really late goal. It could have been no goals. Uh, the match against Cruz Azul, again, they considered late in the first half. Uh, in the match against Charlotte, they scored late in the first half. Uh, so I think, you know, being um, uh, the first half under 1.25, if there's exactly one goal, we still get paid. It's still a half win, but I think that's a very safe way to bet on this match. So give me the first half under 1.25 goals at minus 120. So make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we also have more free plays in the EPL as well. So head over uh, to our page and um, just make sure um, to hit the, you know, ring the bell because you'll get notified as soon as we load one of these plays. So head over to my page at wt.bus.pl. You'll find my promo codes and all my free plays. So good luck uh, with your bets.